Welcome to Fireside Yankees. My name is Alex, and today I want to discuss Wilson Contreras. Now, Mark Feinsand of MLB.com said the Yankees, Mets, and Astros were all connected to Contreras as potential trade candidates um, at the deadline on August 2nd. So why would the Yankees consider doing this? You know, of course, we have Jose Trevino. This is definitely going to be a Jose Trevino propaganda episode because he's been that good and deserves the love. Kyle Higashioka definitely has been struggling, but had probably his best game of the season yesterday. Um, on Sunday against the Chicago Cubs, Wilson Contreras' team, coincidentally. Um, Higashioka had two homers, looked really good, a couple RBIs, um, had a 35-mile-an-hour EFIS pitch thrown on him, and he freaking launched it out of the park to left field. So really nice to see him break that home run drought. You know, that was kind of the big thing from He had like eight homers in spring training and then couldn't hit anything out of the park uh, since then. So it's been nice to see him get a little bit of action, really get some positivity on the board. But why would Wilson Contreras still be in the mix for this Yankees team? Now, the main thing, he's established. He's consistent, and you know what you're getting in Wilson Contreras, which is ultimately one of the best offensive catchers in baseball. Now, his defense has fallen off quite a bit um, over the years, but he's still doing tremendous. He started off the season a little bit slow at 30 years old. Um, he's making uh, $9.6 million this year. He's going to be a free agent in 2023, so he's essentially a rental for the rest of the season, the Cubs have been shipping off their guys, uh, Rizzo, Anthony, ba uh, Javier Baez, and a couple other guys, um, you know, just to kind of gear up for the future, I guess. You know, they had that World Series run a couple years ago, but since then, they've really struggled. They only have like 23 wins this season. They're in a prime position to be plundered. And if you're the Yankees, you're thinking, hmm, you know, Kyle Agashoko, while we love the guy, Wilson Contreras offers us some of the best offense um, at the position in baseball. And if you're plugging him into that seven slot in the batting order, he's going to freaking produce for you and it's going to be really great. So the question is, how well is he performing? And does this really make sense for the Yankees right now? So I would say that the catcher position, while was a weakness a little bit earlier in the season, we didn't know what Jose Trevino was going to be. We didn't know if Akashioka could turn things around. It's starting to look like more of a strength with every passing day. Um, you know, let's talk about uh, Jose Trevino right off the bat. 29 years old. He's having his best season as a professional, and it's not even close. He's hitting .309, or for those that don't like me to say point, he's hitting .309 uh, with a 35.6% on-base percentage, 505 slugging. He's at five homers, 18 RBIs. He has a 13.5% strikeout rate, which is basically nothing. If you're the Yankees and your catcher is only striking out at 13.5%, you're pretty damn happy because we know what Gary Sanchez looked like up there. And, man, he would strike out 30 35% clips. So this is a really good sign uh, for the Yankees who have a catcher who's going to go up there and at least work up, work the pitchers, you know, make them earn their strikeouts, make them earn every single pitch. Um, he's also walking at a career high rate of 6.7%. So overall, Jose Trevino has been one of the best players on this team, a spark plug for that offense. He's been stellar. He is dealing with a minor back injury. So Shouldn't be anything too crazy. The Yankees have off on Monday, and they will use this day to kind of get their guys healthy, you know, make sure that they're ready to go for this 20-game stretch coming up against Tampa Bay, <clears throat> Toronto, Houston, then Tampa Bay again. So a big, big couple of weeks coming up here. But Trevino has been absolutely stellar, and not just offensively, but defensively as well, right? His strike rate is tied for first with Joe, Jonah Heim of Texas. At 51.9%, he has three catcher frame runs. And what th that means, basically, a catcher framing runs converts strikes to runs saved on a point, one, two, five run slash strike basis. So basically, um, you know, it's just measuring how often he's getting strikes called. Um, it's, whereas the league average, there would be home runs, or rather just runs being scored um, in, in the differential between strikes and balls. So they call it the shadow zone, you know, where a catcher is able to catch the ball and frame it to look like a strike. And then they get that called strike from the umpire. So they're really relying on that human error. Um, Trevino has been unbelievable in that category this year, 756 pitches. He has basically more action than the top five, except for Jonah Heim, who's at 1,042 pitches. So he's been getting more and more action as Agashio has struggled this year. And Higgy, you know, is also struggling himself, right? So he's kind of ranking in the average category of 46% strike rate, zero um, catcher front framing runs. And then Wilson Contreras is way down there. I can't even find him. He's so far down there. Um, we could see he is ranked 42nd has a 44.1% strike rate. So defensively, he's not having his best season. Um, he's not bad, but he's probably, he's average defensively right now. He still has a pretty solid arm. You can gun guys out, um, trying to steal bases, um, at 30 years old, but offensively, he's just a stud, right? He's hitting point. 
He's hitting 267 with a, about a 40% on base percentage, a 500 slugging percentage, 10 homers, 23 RBIs, 20.2% strikeout rate, and 11.7% walk rate. So he's getting on base, man. He's getting on base almost at 40%, which actually right now is a career high for him. The question is, where does he fit into the Yankee mold here? If Higashioka and Trevino are performing extremely well, what's the point of going out and getting Contreras? You know, what are you going to have to give up for him? It's a rental. Um, he's still pretty valuable given his uh, quality offensively. So you're going to have to give up a couple of decent prospects just to rent him for the rest of the season. The fact that Trevino's playing so well right now, I don't think it makes sense to go after Wilson Contreras uh, necessarily, especially because defensively he's not even close to as good as Jose Trevino right now. Um, and then you have to also consider like, if he's not playing catcher, he's the designated hitter and the Yankees, they can't, we can't trust Giancarlo Stanton to be our designated or rather our outfielder anymore. He, the guy gets injured the second he steps in the outfield, uh, the ankle recently, the calf injuries in the past. I don't trust him staying healthy in the outfield. So you're better off just leaving him in that designated hitter role and just kind of rolling into the future and hoping, um, he can maintain, you know, his health just as the DH and not anything more because we're going to need him down the stretch. We need him in the playoffs. He's huge in the playoffs, you know, against Boston a couple years ago. Absolute monster. We need him available. And I think Contreras coming in here, he's not going to supplement Trevino. You know, right now you don't do that to a guy like Trevino who's hitting so well. He has some little bit of power to him. He's having a, a career season and defensively he's a monster. You don't trade for Contreras and put him in there. I think Trevino is your everyday catcher. And Kyle Gashioka has given him that role, right? Going into the season, it was supposed to be Higashioka and Ben Rortvet, you know, who acquired, who was acquired from the Twins in that big trade with Joe Rochelle and Gary Sanchez and Josh Donaldson and Isaiah Conner Falefa. Uh, but now <clears throat> the Yankees kind of are sitting here like, okay, you know, what do we do here at catcher? We trust Trevino. How about Higgy? The two homers yesterday, that's a huge sign of him kind of breaking out of his funk. Hopefully it turns things around. If both of these guys start to hit really well, they don't need Contreras. They just should go out into the bullpen market, try to find some veterans. We talked about David Robertson yesterday at yeah, 37 years old. He's having a resurgent season. I think he's like a 1.3 ERA. He's killing it uh, for Chicago, coincidentally, as well. They have a lot of decent players that should be on the market. The Yankees can go and plunder their roster and get anyone they need. Uh, Robertson, obviously, having won a World Series with the Yankees, ton of experience in the Bronx. He knows what it takes. He has the experience just in a playoff scenario. So I do like that about him. And he's also going to be super, super cheap. You don't need a David Bednar from Pittsburgh. You don't need some of these high-end relievers um, that are going to cost you an arm and a leg. I'd rather just go, even you know, if the Yankees went after a guy like Scott Barlow um, and, and Andrew Benintendi in the outfield. But like Joey Gallo is starting to pick it up. So there's another element you have to consider. Maybe you don't replace Gallo. Hicks, I I don't necessarily think he's going to be able to produce during the playoffs with runners in scoring position. He's absolutely been abysmal this year. He's in like below 200, below 150 even. Um, I don't trust him in those big leverage situations, but I do trust Andrew Benintendi. So it depends really what the Yankees would be willing to give up for him. Um, maybe they would be like willing to give up a little bit better of a prospect to also get Scott Barlow, who's a pretty decent reliever, and they could help. Uh, he could help you know supplement this bullpen, especially after the injuries to Loisica, you know the, the shoulder inflammation. Um, Chad agree with the Tommy John surgery and M, you know, we're all this chapman with the Achilles tendonitis. Now, Manny Benuelos definitely killing it lately. He's having some good outings and showing some good uh, resurgent play as well. So I do like to see how well he's performed. But Contreras at this point in time, I don't really see it. I don't think it's necessary for the Yankees. I don't think that he is uh, going to come in here and steal that job from Jose Trevino, especially why would you want to de demoralize a guy that's having so much fun playing for this team and living his dream and killing it at the same time? I don't think Trevino is going to stop killing it anytime soon. He seems to be riding this wave to the end of the season, and I and I kind of uh, hope that he remains that way because he's just been on another level. So shout out to Jose Trevino for being an absolute stud this year and carrying that catcher position when Higgy was struggling. Um, but guys, I'd love to hear your opinions on Wilson Contreras. Do you think that the Yankees should go after him? Um, what would you give up for him? Probably some middling prospects. It's a rental after all. So you know, another team may go to look in uh, like the Mets, as we mentioned, and the Astros. You know, two playoff teams. If they went out and got Contreras, they're definitely going to upgrade that catcher position, and he's a freaking offensive stud. So they're going to get some more uh, benefit in the batting order as well. The Yankees may not may just want to get him so they don't let the other guys get him. And I'm, you know what I mean? Like if you're going to trade, if you're going to trade for Contreras, you're essentially doing that because you want to one keep him away from everybody else. Two, he's going to help you win a World Series this year. Um, and three, you know, it, it's all about taking advantage of the opportunity right now, right? If, would you like I'll ask you this? Would you be willing to give up a prospect right now that's decent? You know, maybe you wouldn't give him up in another year just so that, you know, you can win a World Series. If you could trade a middling prospect for a guy who's going to help you, whether it be a Benintendi or Contreras, would you trade him for a World Series right now? I would argue yes, any day of the week. 
I would trade a guy who's going to help uh, win a World Series this year. So I think that kind of mentality and mindset uh, may be what Brian Cashman is thinking because this team definitely seems like they're capable of doing it this year and pulling off 28. So I'm excited, guys. Love your opinions on Contreras. Uh, what would you be willing to give up for him if you think it's even necessary to begin with? I think personally, we were well with Trevino and Higashioka. They're playing better now. Trevino's killing it. Uh, you know, believe in him. He's doing well, and I don't think you should, um, you know, mess with that. You know, don't don't try to fix what's not broken at the end of the day. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Tuning into Fireside Yankees. Make sure to like and subscribe as always. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.